got something cool to show you today that I'm going to be installing here in the track car. When I show you, it's something that um, a little unusual. Any idea what it is yet? It is a center console bolt. Look at that. Specifically designed for the inside of here. And I'm guessing, oh yeah, so there's hardware inside, or there's places inside to screw it in and bolt it in place. Hmm. Oh, okay, and that goes on, I guess that goes on top once it gets in, so it can't just be pulled out, plus it has to be screwed in the bottom. Gotcha. All right, so check it out. This is called a console volt. This was sent to me to test, so. It's called console volt. Consolevolt.com. Check this out. All right, ain't that neat? All right, so we're going to install it here. Now, first, let me just see what it looks like. Maybe I'm doing this wrong. I have to figure this out. <laughs> I'll be back. All right. We got it installed. I had to take a minute, go over everything, and then by the time I got done work and it got late, it's the next day. Everything took five minutes, about five minutes to install this thing. The instructions are very simple to install the console bolt. Here they are. Super easy. Also, for changing your passcode, they give you instructions on changing the generic passcode that it comes with. I believe it's all zeros. I'm going to show you what it looks like now installed. I'm going to talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly. Check it out. All right. I had to cover up my passcode on here. I just realized that I was showing everybody what my PIN number was. All right. So it's open. All I have to do is turn it. It's unlocked. Just gonna make sure that this stays on there. There we go. Okay, and there you go. That's it, that's what it looks like. It only takes two screws to install, as you can see right here. You can literally finger tighten them all the way through the plastic, they're really sharp. I didn't like that this rubber bottom is this short. It should be a lot longer because it doesn't, watch, when you put it on the bottom, right, watch, I can slide it all the way forward and there's a gap. So I'm gonna have to go and purchase some rubber matting floor whatever you want to call it to make it a little bit longer you still have access to your, um, your your 12 volt right here your adapter if you need it and you can close it lock it up oops close it lock it up and you're good to go and nobody can take it. i mean you can really pull on it and it's not coming out it's really secure all right now let's talk about what i did not like about this yes it was super easy to install took me five minutes 10 tops what is this this is the trim piece they call it that goes on top as you can see it's designed cut like this so the back portion that goes here is the right regular size but then it fans out a little bit and that's the to close in these gaps that are on the side I mean I can get my fingers in on one side can't on the left side so there's no way you can reach your fingers in there and get anything out. This is just to, I guess, put on top if you're gonna put change or something on there. The biggest problem with this is that I could not get the screws that are machined to hold it in place, no matter what I tried. For an hour straight, I got frustrated last night trying to get these screws to actually screw in the holes. It's the biggest problem with this thing is that the screws don't fit so that's my only knock with this. Doesn't need it. You can't get anything out of there. It's just there to protect from things from falling in on the side. But, you know, as you can see here, 
I'm not going to put it in there because I'd have to really squeeze it in there. But it starts to fan out, right? And that's just to, to protect things from falling in here. All right. Back here is a nice, tight, snug fit. On this side, a little bit of room. So if you're throwing change in here, I'm guessing that would fall down there. I don't even know why you would do that. I might just stuff something in here to block it. But that's what this thing is for. All right. And these holes suck. I can't get the screws in there. So that's my biggest knock with the thing. Now, I know the next question somebody's going to ask is, can you store a firearm inside here? The answer is yes. Now, I don't know what size firearm you carry. I don't personally ever leave a firearm in my car, ever. I think it's the dumbest thing in the world to actually leave a firearm unsecure. Because if it's in your vehicle, I don't care if you have it locked up, it's unsecure because it's not on your person and it's not in a big safe at home. That's my opinion. Deal with it. But yes, you can. Now, I don't know how strong this lock is. If somebody really wants to, is they're, they're determined to get in, they're going to get in. But we're going to show you that you can indeed store at least the subcompact firearm in here. You can see that it does fit. You can close it. You can lock it. Oops. You can lock it. And you can uh, semi-secure it. I mean, I guess it's better than nothing. But I don't recommend doing this. I don't recommend leaving the firearm in the car. But yes, you can. It will fit. I don't know what other sizes. I do have a, uh, a Springfield XD40 that I could try to fit in there, which is a lot larger. We can see if it fits. And we can report back later. So yes, a firearm will fit. That answers that question. Um, it's a nice build. It's a very nice build. And I'm really uh, impressed with it for the most part. For about 95% impressed with this thing as far as, you know, securing your valuables. Um, like I said, this was the only downside. Only because the screws just aren't machine machined properly. It does not screw in. Maybe they could come up with a future design where there are actual screw threaded holes. That's the only thing I can think of because this concept that they're using isn't working and these are the screws let me show you i can actually demonstrate what i'm talking about right here it gives you a little allen wrench gives you three little tiny screws like so and i'll have to video from here from the top again okay and watch this i can't even it doesn't even start look no matter how many times you try I can't even get it started. Like, and I tried this for an hour. Imagine you have a plate on top that you're trying to get in. It's not, these are just not working. So this is the biggest, you can't even get it, you can't even get them started. It's pretty damn frustrating, trust me. I tried for an hour until I lost the light and then I said, F it, I'm not using this plate. But even without the plate, it's still a pretty good build. And it's a good quality um, vault um, for, I call semi-security or semi-secure because nothing is 100%. This does really help big time if you got some, like for me personally, my cameras, radar detector, stuff like that. I can secure in here now while I'm at work just in case somebody tries to smash and grab. Um, as long as they're not very, uh, like not a high-tech thief that's trying to, you know, they come with tools. Anybody with just their hands is not pulling that out. So, that's my review. Um, I give it a thumbs up. I do recommend it so you can put other stuff in there. But, yeah, let me know what you think below. Or is this something that you guys would want if you're looking for a, uh, a vault? Check out consolevault.com. Appreciate the person that sent this to me. Uh, consolevault.com in the description of this video. You can click on it and check it out. Um... Hopefully they see this and they talk about upgrading this part, please, or how to attach it because your screws suck. Great, great product, but this idea with these little screws, I already lost one. It fell in between the seat, even though I have a, a, a seat blocker here in place. It's below my seat somewhere. It was a real pain in the ass, so that's all I got. Any questions or comments, you know where to drop them. Before you go, do me a favor, hit that like button, hit the little bell notification, 
down here if you would. Please click subscribe before you go. Last but not least, you guys and girls all be safe. That's all I got. I'm out.